Behold, now she follows the Lamb who was crucified for us, powerful in virginity, modesty her offering, a sacrifice on the altar of chastity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, o Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, author of innocence and lover of chastity, who bestowed the grace of martyrdom, on your handmaid, the Virgin Saint Maria Goretti, in her youth, grant, we pray, through her intercession, that as you gave her a crown for her steadfastness, so we too may be firm in obeying your commandments. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the body is not for immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord is for the body. God raised the Lord and will also raise us by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Whoever is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Avoid immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the immoral person sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God, and that you are not your own? For you have been purchased at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. The word of the Lord. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. 
The Father will honor whoever serves him. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate one of the younger saints that shines in the heavens, a saint who was born into heaven not long after being born on earth, the 11-year-old Saint Maria Goretti. Now she was born a very humble sharecroppers, and her father packed up his hungry family and moved to a small, dusty Italian town of Ferrier. Her father experienced what seemed to be a small stroke of luck. Uh, Signor Serenelli welcomed them into the same building with his family. But tragedy would strike the humble Goretti father, family as they would lose their father to the scourge of malaria. Perhaps it was this that caused her to advance in wisdom beyond her years. She was a mature child of strong character. She was modest, cheerfully obedient, selflessly dedicated to the chores that would come to a family, especially now more demanding with their father's passing. And this maturity and wisdom extended into the spiritual realm and so she eagerly prepared for and awaited her first communion. But regretfully, this same kind of maturity and wisdom did not extend to the son of the Serenelli family, the young Alessandro. Alessandro Serenelli became all too caught up with what is sometimes ironically called in our own times adult or mature material, which is anything but. His passion stoked and refed, he made several sexual advances to young Maria. Each time he was refused, and though he tried to fill her mind with impure thoughts, he was unsuccessful. So on July 5th, 1902, his rage could no longer be contained, and he was determined to have his way with young Maria. So she fought against her attacker, not so much out of anger, but out of concern for herself and her attacker. No, she shouted, trying to snap him out of his lust and rage. It is a sin. God does not want it. So his lust unsatisfied, his rage gains the upper hand, and he stabs the young peasant girl 14 times. And her last breaths, she forgives her attacker. Now, for his crimes of passion, Alessandro would be sentenced to 30 years in jail. Unrepentant, filled with rage and fury, he lunged at the poor priest that tried to visit him in prison. Where the priest failed, however, Saint Maria triumphed. She appeared to him in a dream, so vivid his senses were overwhelmed, and he appeared in the sunlit garden filled with innumerable flowers. Toward him came a young girl dressed in white. How could a peasant girl come to him in such bright raiment, he thought. But it was Maria. Smiling, she walked amidst the flowers. He tried to flee, but could not move. As she drew near, she picked white lilies, 14 beautiful specimens, one for each stab wound. Alessandro, take them, she urged. As they touched his hands, each lily would change into a flaming light, a purifying flame, her forgiveness canceling each wound. Alessandro, she said, as I have promised, your soul shall someday reach me in heaven. Now a biographer writes that contentment then entered his breast, and the scene of incredible beauty dissolved in silence. When he awoke, it seemed that the rabid, choking, consuming feelings of hate, destruction, and bitterness that ruled within him were loosening their invisible bonds from his mind and flesh. And so from that moment forward, Alessandro became a model prisoner, dedicated to making reparation for his crimes, growing ever closer to God. Twenty-seven years later, Alessandro is released, and he seeks out Maria's mother, Assunta. He had not seen her since the trial for his crimes. Assunta, on seeing him, gently caresses his head as a mother would, and in all gentleness told her child's murderer, Alessandro, Marietta forgave you. Christ has forgiven you, and why should I not also forgive? I forgive you, of course, my son. Why have I not seen you sooner? Your evil days are past, and to me, you are a long-suffering son. They would kneel at Mass the next day, receiving Holy Communion together, and later would sit together at her canonization. 
From there, Alessandro would become a model and humble Capuchin friar leading a holy life. So all the protagonists here, all three, the martyr girl who forgave her attacker, the penitent murderer who would pray to his victim, and the mother who forgave the assassin of her young daughter, all of them show that our Lord's capacity for forgiveness, his great soul for thirst, quenching any rancor or vengeance, is immense. See how he is able to call together a rough band of sinners to lead his church. See how his forgiveness can melt the cold defiance, not only of a good thief, but now a good murder. His servants, Maria and Asanta, her mother, know that what it is what our Lord came for. He comes for souls, especially the lost souls, the wandering sheep. And he cannot gather the lost sheep if he would be unwilling to forgive him for straying in the first place. And so how do we react? Peasants put us to shame because we harbor all these little daily resentments. We rage against those who hurt us, not realizing that we are killing ourselves, our own souls in the process. Can we not forgive all those little wounds in our own pride in our hearts? Do we not see the danger of Alessandro letting passion overrule our souls? Fight against sin. Fight against those passions that threaten you. But if we who have sinned, then let us turn to Brother Alessandro. Despair caused him to rage against the priest that tried to visit him when he was jailed. Now, despair will sometimes cause us to turn against God and his forgiveness. And that, my brothers, would be the one fatal mistake. And so let us bring before our Heavenly Father this day all our needs and petitions. We pray for the church throughout the world, that she may always be a source of comfort, especially for all who are assaulted. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our own world, that it may grow in appreciation of the virtues of modesty. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all in our community who are aiding or suffering. All those who seek God's healing in mind or body, we pray to the Lord. And at this Mass, we especially pray for Father Andy and for the repose of the soul of Rudy Barris, and he may be numbered among God's elect, we pray to the Lord. Almighty and living God, through the intercession of St. Maria Goretti, we ask you to inspire our own hearts, that we may be so courageous in professing our faith, for this and all things we ask through Christ our Lord. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. In the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Maria Goretti, win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Maria Goretti, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Maria and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, get together with Francis, our Pope, and through our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am Lamb who is at the center of the throne will lead them to the springs of the waters of life. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Maria Goretti a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Two announcements before uh, we end the Mass. First, we'll have communion immediately after Mass. So please follow directions of the usher as we release row by row. And then once you receive communion, please depart immediately through the side door so that we can keep our social distance and also to be so we're able to clean and, and sanitize the church. Um, this side is for receiving either on the tongue or on the hand, and this side on the hand only, please. And we will begin our regular confession schedule again on uh, Wednesday but it will be more or less our old uh, confession schedule, except it won't be Saturday evening confessions. So 11.30 to about 12.15,
on weekdays beginning Wednesday and then uh, at 8.30 to about 9.15 a.m. on Saturday mornings. Now just please be aware that the priest who is helping to hear confessions will also have to help distribute communion so the priest can't stay there for more than, again, about 45 minutes or so. Thank you for your understanding. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Thank you. 